Here's why you should check your coolant regularly. Friend of mine owns this car. He sent me a video of him opening his coolant tank to fill it up and showed me this, asking me if this is normal. Do you think this is normal? No. Yeah, this looks like some kind of, bro, please don't do that. I will get demonetized <laughs> on YouTube. This is supposed to be coolant. This is supposed to be water. You know, a lot of people, when they're doing their service, they only do their engine oil and they think it's all good. But as you can see, since Mercedes does not have a coolant leaking issue like the BMW B48 engine, you know, this is why the B48 leaks coolant because they don't want you to get it into this stage, you know? Cousin, he just bought a Subaru XV, a bolt-on turbos, down pipes, then we'll do a built transmission. First one in the world, stay tuned. Okay, the gearbox, oil cooler, uh -huh. finish. Finish. This is what happens when your gearbox oil cooler is finished. <laughs> yeah, let's let's wash the, the whole thing. So what else do we have to flush and clean? The whole complete cooling system needs to flush. Okay. What would have happened if we didn't check the coolant and we, we kept running the car like this? Uh, the coolant will enter the gearbox. So it means you will have a cool gearbox, so you should not do it. Gearbox oil entered the coolant. The whole cooling system of the car is running gearbox oil now. That slushy green matcha ice cream that you saw, mixture of coolant and gearbox oil. Worst that can happen, coolant enters the gearbox and that would be when you will have a very good matcha ice cream eating gearbox that it you know stays cool all the time because it has coolant now the whole cooling system has to be flushed coolant tank has to be cleaned out the gearbox oil has to be changed at this point a lot of people when they're thinking about servicing the car they only think about the oil the engine oil the gearbox oil i mean a lot of times not even gearbox oil but this is why you should properly look after your car and especially if your car is a little older, have a little more knowledge about the car and everything that you have to look after at all times. If something like this hadn't been noticed, the car kept running, it could have caused a huge bill and possibly totaled the whole like, engine and the gearbox and everything. Look after your old cars and they will look after you. Why is a 1.8 from Mercedes so big? The engine itself is small. It looks like a B58 size, bro. Yeah. If any one of your friends say that Mercedes is more reliable than BMW, please share this video with them and ask them to subscribe. So we now have some cleaners in the cooling system of the car. It's gonna flush out the whole system and it's gonna take out all the gearbox oil from the cooling system of the car. After that is done, you have got to change the gearbox fluid because first of all, water might be inside your gearbox. Second of all, if the gearbox oil has entered the cooling system, that means the gearbox is low on oil, right? So it just makes sense doing so. Okay, so I have a good news and a bad news. The bad news is I might have a broken catalytic converter and the good news is I might have a broken catalytic converter. So. What I mean by that is, the bad news is broken. I will be very sad. The good news is, now I have to go stage two, right? Catalyst downpipe, stage two. There's no way around it. I mean, once you go catalyst. I mean, once your cat is broken, you know, you no have to go back. catalyst. He can get half like this, calm, and then he already inside. Okay, so lower your cars, it's fine. Some stuff that will get broken off the car. I mean, nobody needs this, right? Extra weight, weight savings, camera. You know, you know if my cat is actually broken, I'm, I'm actually legit nervous. Every day is exciting when you own a BMW. Well, you good. Like, uh -huh. the, like new la. Uh -huh. uh, and then it's original catalytic. Okay. Uh, gold white. Look there, gold white. Uh, gold white, right? And then I think the problem, the backside. Backside. Yes. What's what's the problem? Because anything thing have an expired there, like that. Uh huh. Uh, and here is the time. Muffler. Is, 
So the cat is not broken. There is no bracket broken? No bracket. Inside got nothing? Yes. I, I'm sure about the bracket, okay? The catalytic, okay? I'm sure about that. Oh, this tire is an amazing shape. No wonder I was very grippy when I came here. It was super grippy. That was the cheapest BMW fix I've ever done. Whoever says BMWs are expensive doesn't know what they're talking about. 30 ringgit, which is seven US dollars for my international viewers.